Hey there, happy Friday. Hope you're having a great day and you've got some fun plans on for the weekend. Thought I'd just jump on and just ask you, are your weekends making you or breaking you when it comes to your health and fitness goals? So I basically on weekends, I will still train. Um, I'll at least go to the gym one day of the week, um, one day of the weekend, generally two, but that's actually because I don't train as much during the week. I like to make sure I'm at the gym five days a week. So on the weekends, I am still um, going to the gym. Um, but for the, some of you, you might do all your training during the week and then you might get to the weekend and you might be like, all right, I'm just gonna relax now. I've done all the hard work during the week. Um, so you might relax. You may not do any sort of movement over the weekend um, and you might really overindulge with your food. So this I find is a really big problem with a lot of people that they are working quite hard during the week. So for five days, you know, they might be, they might be training, maybe not necessarily every day, um, and they're eating really well, but then it comes to the weekend and they feel like it's just a free fest and they can just eat whatever they want um, and not do any movement. But if you really have a, if you have a strong goal in mind, you have to actually be quite mindful when it comes to the weekend as well. That's not to say that you can't have um, any treats and you can't have a drink or anything like that. But if you have, a, especially if you have a weight loss goal in mind, you have to be careful when it does come to the weekend and not go too over the top. Um, so I generally would advise, you know, just having like one meal or possibly two meals over the weekend that are a little bit different to what you'd normally have. But I still would encourage you to make sure that you're still getting a decent amount of vegetables in there for at least one of those cheat meals. I don't really like to call them cheat meals, but that's what most people refer them to being. Um, and you know, like if you do want to have pizza, just don't go crazy and have like a whole pizza. Try to just have limit it to a few pieces and also make sure that you're allowing it throughout the day. So if you're going out for pizza in the night, make sure that you go lighter for lunch. So having like a salad and some protein or something like that um, is just going to help you to drop, keep those calories a bit lower so you're actually moving forward. Um, cause I find that a lot of people just have such massive blowouts and then they just constantly, they're just plateauing. They're never going to get anywhere there. You know, there has to be a point in time where you go, you know what, I've got to make a few little sacrifices to be able to hit my goal and, and movement. Look, movement is so important. Every single day we want to be moving. So we don't have to be training at the gym, but we definitely want to be at least doing our 10,000 steps um, every day, and especially if you haven't made it to the gym. So when it comes to the weekend, you know, make it a little bit more fun. You might go for a bike ride with the kids or go for a nice bush walk or something like that. Go for a swim, whatever is your jam, but just make sure that you're including movement every day of the week. Um, this is what's gonna help you get to your goal that much faster. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Have a wonderful weekend and I will chat to you next week. Bye.